Welcome back to the Cognac Jewellery School. Today we're going to be making a classic silver bangle, like this one. Let's get started. For this project, all you'll need is the length of bangle wire. I've made my own half round wire using silver offcuts. So in case you want to learn how to do the same, I've put a link in the description to tutorials on how to melt down your own scraps and make your own bangle wire. Obviously bangles come in all shapes and gauges. So this tutorial works whatever wire you're using. Just make sure your bangle wire is fully annealed before you begin. Start by measuring your bangle size with a bangle sizer. Ideally, you want to find the size that slides over your hand easily, but not so easily that it flies off if you make any sudden movements. Equally, you don't want to make it so tight that you need bolt cutters to remove it. If you don't have a bangle sizer like this one, there's a link in the description to a quick guide to bangle sizing that will show you how to measure your size using just a piece of paper or string, along with the equations needed to measure the right length of wire. Once you have found the right size for your wrist, measure the internal diameter using a vernier gauge. Add that number to the thickness of the wire you're going to use and multiply it by pi. The number you end up with is the length of wire you'll need to cut for a perfectly sized bangle. Place your wire on your bench peg and saw through at the point where you marked it, and then bring it over to your bangle mandrel. Using a rawhide or nylon mallet, give your wire a goodly wallop until it resembles something round and the ends are coming together. If it's become wonky at this point, give it a tap on a steel block to flatten it out. It'll make it much easier to solder if it's flat. Once round and flat, bring your bangle back to your bench and tidy up those ends. The very most important thing with any bangle like this is the join. Take the time here to create a join without any gaps steps or imperfections. I like to do this by first using a flat file and then a saw to achieve the closest join I can get. Once your joins are meeting seamlessly, you're ready to solder. Pop your bangle on a fire brick, paint with some flux and place one piece of solder over the join. There's no need for a lot of solder here. Remember, more solder means more cleanup. Then start to heat up your bangle gently with your torch. Silver will move and expand when heated. So it's important to try and heat the wire all the way around evenly to avoid warping your join. I use a turntable to help with even heating. You don't need one, but it does help. Once your whole bangle is nice and hot, concentrate your torch over the join, moving the flame from side to side until your solder runs. Once soldered, quench and pop it in the pickle. Once pickled, Bring your bangle back to your mandrel and it's time to make it perfectly round. Using a rawhide or nylon mallet, tap your bangle into shape all the way around one way, then flip it over and go the other way. Keep going until you have a perfectly round bangle. Then hammer both sides on a steel plate until you've flattened out any wonkiness. Now you're ready to start polishing. Remove any excess solder from your join using the rounded side of a half round file on the inside and a flat file on the sides and outside. Be careful to remove only the excess solder and not to file out too much silver and alter the profile of your bangle. To start, I'm using emery sticks to polish my bangle. These come in a range of grits, from very coarse to very fine, and can be bought ready-made. You can also make these yourself pretty inexpensively and easily with hardware store items. So if you'd like to know how, I've popped a link in the description. Polish the inside and outside of your bangle, working your way up to the finest grit you have before taking your bangle over to the polishing motor. Polish the entire bangle using Tripoli and then Rouge until all the scratches have disappeared and your bangle is shining. And voila, you've successfully made the little black dress of silver accessories, the classic bangle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you all again very soon.